Hey y'all, I'm Becca and I'm Natalie and welcome back to season 5 episode 7 of The Hurricane. Happy Friday, even though we're recording this on Wednesday. Um, we just want to send out a few reminders to you. Number one, we have a big game this Friday versus Cass. It's a rivalry game. Everybody's excited about it. But just remember, number one, we have to be on our best behavior. Y'all, two... It takes forever to get into the stadium at Cass. Sometimes traffic's going to be bad. So if you're going to the game, I advise you to go to GoFan in advance and buy your ticket. A um, couple quick things, too. Y'all, we've had a good start to the school year. We really have. We are proud of you. I feel like we started out this year so much better than in years before. When you come back in January, you have four classes. You are starting over again. So if you are not happy with where your grades are at right now, you need to get it together these last nine weeks. Um, and, and finish strong. Okay? And that's all I have to say. Go Canes. Oh, purple is the oh, theme. Oh, purple. We're purple. Purple is the theme. Do not show up in anything but purple, purple. please, on Friday night. Um, I wanted to remind all of you 10th graders, um, we are taking the PSAT Wednesday, a week from today when I'm filming this, but Wednesday, October 12th. So that's the next Wednesday that we're in school. Please remember, if you are a 10th grader, you will be taking the PSAT. I am putting testing rosters and locations all around the building. So go find your last name and look, and that'll tell you what room number you will be taking the test in. And it will most likely either be in the upstairs of the humanities or in the media center. Juniors, today is the last day for any junior who is interested in paying $15 to take the PSAT. That's a good opportunity for you to qualify potentially for any national merit scholarships and the deadline to sign up in order to pay and ask to be included on the PSAT next week is today. So make sure you've done that if you're interested. And I, uh, dress code. I wanted to remind y'all about dress code. Now that it's cold weather, I know hoodies are coming back out. Reminder, if you are on campus, the hood has to be down. We will nicely remind you, and then we will write it up as a dress code infraction. So please don't get written up for that, because that's something easy that you can control. And then also remember, Fingertip length is the magic word for any dress code issues. It, that's how long your tops have to be if you're wearing leggings. That's how long your skirts and dresses have to be. So just make sure you remain in dress code. I'm Parson Toller, and I'm back with another review sports updates. Our softball team has their next region game this Tuesday against Calhoun. Big region game, so go out and support them and be loud. Our volleyball team's regular season just ended, with state playoffs coming right around the corner. Our Raiders team has their next meet tomorrow at South Paulding. And lastly, our football team had a sad loss against Calhoun last week, losing 50-48 to in three overtimes, being very close with the next game being United against Cass. Go out, be loud, and support them. Hi, my name is Will Benson, and someone I hold very closely is Jonathan Klein. Our moms are best friends, and We've just grown very close over the years, and I just feel like he's very close and just a great friend. Hi, my name is Braylon, and I want to give a special shout out to Miss Stone, one of my favorite teachers. She's helped me and a lot of other students through a lot, and she's always been there for us since day one. My name is Brandy McNeil and I'm very thankful for Morgan Mitchell because she makes me laugh every day. We met in 10th grade in my teaching class and since then she's my best friend. I am Miss Candela and I want to give a special shout out to my husband, Coach Candela. Um, he's near and dear to my heart um, for a number of reasons. We met 
I don't even remember how long ago, but I do know we've been married 10 years because I'm real bad at numbers, but I remember that because he yells at me about that. Um, he taught me so many things about how to be true to who I am, about how to stand up for myself. He honestly, he taught me how to fight for myself and for uh, to believe in who I am and my own opinions. He's a great guy, and if you don't know him, you should get to know him. I'm Patrick. Um, I'm really thankful for Mr. Stanley because he's helped me through a lot and I feel like I can always come to him with anything and he's just a really helpful teacher. Um, I'm Kiana. I just want to give a shout out to Molly Morrow. Um, you know, she's really sweet and really respectful. We've been friends since sixth grade. Um, she's always been there for me and it's just, you know, no matter how bad things got between us sometimes, we've always just stuck it through. And, I'm Natalie and I want to give a special shout out to Becca Hovers because last year when I was a new student I remember on like the third day of school we had a fire drill and she came up to me and she was like hey I just want to let you know I think you're really pretty and that's kind of stuck with me and we've been inseparable ever since you can ask Putnam we talk way too much and yeah just very thankful that she came into my life. My name is Chris Ryan and somebody I really appreciate in the school is Case Adams. Um, me and Case have been on the football team for a long time, and that's just my boy. It's like my best friend. I can talk to him about anything. Hey, y'all. I'm Natalie. And I'm Mackenzie. And today we're going to be um, chemists. <laughs> I'm scared. What if it doesn't work? Can we just like, this is so anticlimactic. And we're going to attempt to be making this thing called Elephant Toothpaste, instructed by the wonderful Miss Higgins, who did not want to be on camera. Shout but out. that's. Okay, um, she typed us these beautiful, beautiful instructions. Okay, I can't read. So I'm going to read what Miss Higgins gave us. So elephant toothpaste gets its name from the massive amount of foam it produces. It looks like it could be from a giant tube of toothpaste. This reaction can happen in a few different ways, but today we are going to use yeast as a catalyst. And catalyst? A or A catalyst is basically just something that helps a reactant react more, I guess. Uh, we will use some common household chemicals to make this big reaction. We're using hydrogen peroxide, soap, water, and yeast. Okay, so... To oh, and food coloring. Yeah. To start off, we're just, just gonna just add a... Yeah. We're just gonna okay. add a little oh bit goggles. of water. Yeah. We're gonna start by adding a little bit of this warm water into this yeast. <laughs> mm. We're gonna let it sit for I don't know what reason, but Miss Higgins told us it needs to sit. And I actually don't know how much water. So <laughs> we're doing amazing. Okay. Okay, so you wanna she said okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> next take this, take that, this? and pour half a cup this? of this, which is fifty milliliters, okay, if I'm thanks correct. For telling you that. Why? <laughs> it's, Why? We, Okay, and for colors, I'm thinking we right. we should do the red and blue, right? To make purple? Yes. Science. For canes. Go canes. Go canes. Okay. This goes in here, right? Yeah. All right, y'all. Okay, and now we're going to pour this dish soap. And is there anything, like, specific she told us? Um, let's see. We're professionals, so. Mm. No. <laughs> Two. I don't know. So we're gonna see. swirl it. Yay! Swirl. Scientist Nat. Ew, why does it look like that? Okay, we'll be back, y'all. <laughs> this is gonna be so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put that in. Hopefully it goes boom! Yeah, it's gonna. Okay. Alright, y'all. So I'm gonna pour this for us. and hope that something happens because if it doesn't. <clears throat> it stinks. I was like, <laughs> it smells so bad. What I'm scared. What if it doesn't work? Can we just like, this is so anticlimactic. Okay. Do something. Y'all. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Me and Matt are definitely... We're professionals, so yeah. it was obviously the experiment that didn't work and it was not us. It was probably because the, hydro, the hi, hydrogen peroxide was just expired. So. But we love you, Miss Higgins. Thank you for um, 
Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm cutting all of this out, actually. We're not Let's hear from our teacher feature this week. Hi, I'm Miss Tate, and I'm doing the teacher feature. If I wasn't a teacher, I would be a stay-at-home mom because I've got like a lot of people in my family and a lot of laundry. This is year two for me and I teach Lead Worthy. It's a leadership course and I teach environmental science and forensic science. Uh, my favorite thing about teaching is the students. I love building relationships with them and I love seeing the relationships they have with each other. I did not actually know that teaching was always um, or was my passion. Uh, my undergraduate degree is in nutrition, um, so I went that way uh, with that first and then um, I found my love of teaching through a preschool that I worked in and then I figured out I really loved this but I wanted more from it, so I got my master's in teaching. When I was a student at Cartersville, I was a cheerleader. I had my megaphone in my classroom still. Um, I did football cheer and competition cheer, and um, I was in FBLA, FCA. I was a mentor. Uh, we had a little Canes program at that point, um, and a couple other clubs and organizations within the school. What's good everyone and welcome back to a new episode on Man on the Streets Part 3. But since it's still Hispanic Heritage Month, I'm going to pass this mic down to my boy Brader and let him steal the show. So yeah, I'm doing Part 3. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, first question, who's your favorite teacher? Uh, probably Miss Long. Who's your favorite teacher? Um, Coach Hardy. Who's your favorite teacher? Coach Knight. Miss uh, Tate. Kenzie Tate. Yeah. I don't got a favorite teacher. Who's your favorite teacher? My favorite teacher, Mr. Moon. Miss Rents. Uh, uh, who's your favorite teacher? Miss Wilkins. Um, probably Miss Hahn. I love her. Um, my favorite teacher is Miss Wilkins. Who my favorite teacher? Um, my favorite teacher is um, what's that teacher all the way down there at the bottom? That's my twin. Um, to, I don't. To be honest, I don't know. Tylen, Tylen. What's that teacher down there that we was just seeing? Yeah, Coach Tucker, that's my favorite teacher. That's twin. All right, let's see how smart are you. Um, who's the 46 president? George Washington. What? <laughs> I don't even know what you said. Who's the 46 president? I don't know. 46? That's not a 46. It is. It is? Yeah. All right, it is. It's the last one. Trump. No, Joe Biden. Oh. <laughs> Who's the uh, 46 president? The what? 46? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> no, I don't know. Okay, I said give me the easiest question. 46? Yeah. We have that many? Yeah. Andrew Tate? That's not ridiculous. That's not ridiculous to say that. Ah, uh, oh shoot. Um, I, I have no clue. Uh, yeah, no clue. All right. You like your uh, wins boneless or normal? Um, I like them. I like them with the skin. Ah, uh, I like them with the skin. Ah, uh, you like your wins boneless or normal? Uh, normal. You like you like your uh, wins bo boneless or normal? Um, boneless. All right. You like your uh, wins normal or boneless? <laughs> boneless. <laughs> you like your uh, wins boneless or normal? I mean, I don't really eat wings, but I mean, I guess normal. You like you like the wins boneless or normal? Um, I like with the bone. I mean, with the <laughs> boneless. Yeah, boneless. Uh, what's the most popular food in the world? Just make it, guys. Alright. It's uh, rice. The most popular food, like in the world. In the world? Yeah. Water. No. Rice. Oh, no, no. 
What's the most popular food like in the whole world? The most popular food in the whole world? Pizza. Nah, it's rice. Mm. Okay, no, it's not. <laughs> no. What's the most uh, popular food in the world? Popular what? Uh, food. Pizza. No, it's actually rice. Rice? Yeah. What's the most popular food in the world? What's the most popular who? Food in the world. Food? Me personally, I'ma say wings, but you know, that's, you know, everybody's opinion don't matter but mine. We do not care. I try. Get out my face. Who? Yeah, I try. Who eat fries like that? A lot of people say it's pizza too, but who try. Eat who eats fries like that? Uh, rice. Rice? rice? Who eats fries? Oh my God. What's the smallest USA? The smallest what? USA. Um. Hawaii. No, it's Rhode Island. Okay. okay. What's the smallest USA? Probably like New York. New York. Are you serious right now, bro? Are you serious right now, bro? Are you serious right now, bro? Are you? Right now, bro? Are you? No. New York. Yeah. I know it. I know it. <laughs> Alright, what's the answer? Rhode Island. Yeah, you're right. Let's okay. go. What's the smallest USA? Smallest what? USA. Rhode Island. You're right. What's the the smallest USA? You said what? What's the smallest USA? I don't know. Alright. Uh, it's uh. What is it? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, it's Rhode Island. <laughs> it's that one. All right, thank you for thank you for watching Man on the Streets. Come back for more. All right, I guess thank you for watching. Bruh. <laughs> if I, uh, what's the smallest year stay? Hmm? What's the smallest year stay? Hmm? <laughs> Y'all, hit me up and on my sound is it? Here's a terrible student. <laughs> No, I'm the best. <laughs> I'm the he best. told me I was a mean girl in high school. He lies. Uh, sorry, Carter. Sorry, Carter. Did you get a blooper segment? I don't remember when that was a thing. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, am I done? Oh, Are you feeling? Alrighty, y'all. It's our first victim. Um. They're on the line. They're, uh, they're on the line. But I will give them, at least I got the car parked, but they're on the line. They're on the line, that's all there is to it. So with this guy, or girl, um, your tire is very much touching the curb a lot. So I don't know why you didn't like put it in drive and just scoot up a little bit, but no judgment. So y'all are parked a little over the line, but honestly, I cannot do better because I can't park, so. Yeah, maybe you should just get some more tires next time, pal. Like, you're not that guy, pal. You're not that guy. <laughs> you're not that guy. <laughs> okay, guys, so this Kia left their lights on. Um, y'all park good, but I feel bad because the battery's gonna die if you leave your lights on all day. I'm Evan Archer. I'm Carson Toller. We're about to do the weekend weather. So today is a low of 49 degrees, high of 77 degrees, and a 4% chance of rain. On Saturday, it's a low of 43, a high of 72, and a 5% chance of rain. And on Sunday, we have a low of 46, a high of 73, and a 4% chance of rain. And yeah, that's your weekend weather. Thank you very much.